Hi tourists, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your weekly vlog and this is for the 16th to the 22nd and if you're new welcome as well to this channel please click the subscribe button and the bell and then you'll be notified if you don't want to be notified then don't click the bell um, and my, if you would like to become a cyber angel, then join me please in the live sessions. The English sessions are on Monday and Friday, and the Dutch sessions are on Wednesday. So if you speak Dutch, you're more than welcome. And the family is growing so intensively that I have um, uh, I've split the Dutch from the English. So the chat will move much more easily and smoothly because it is quite tiresome to flip backwards and forwards and watch the chat and do the cards I like to stay with the program <laughs> and I'm using the Wildwood Tarot and the uh, House of Shadows which is an oracle according to the author but I it is a Lenemann and I'm using the charms and I'm using the crystal ball so first of all we're going to um, do the charms and see what's coming out for you. Now the anchor has come out for every single reading, okay? And I'm not looking at what's coming out. Perhaps lift it a bit. Wow. Okay, thank goodness we've got something different, but the feather has come out several times as well. The owl, the star, and the butterfly. So that could mean transformational period. Or you might be seeing a lot of butterflies where you are living. If it is spring with you, or warm in the summer, like Australia, New Zealand, or Florida. The star means that you're in the spotlight and something is being illuminated. Your wish or your goal. And then you've got the owl. Be as wise as an owl. Don't focus right in front of you because the owl can change his head right 180 degrees. So keep a view uh, or focus around you. Be very quiet because the owl has vision, helicopter vision right he sits up in the tree and he can it's like a, a binoculars that goes right down like a laser beam he can see a mouse from a big distance from a height and the angels are with you now let's see what kind of ball or bead you're going to get I always look towards the other side and you've got the blue bead that is the throat chakra Archangel Michael so we'll put that with the feather so say your piece uh, don't uh, hold in uh, if you want to say something say it but say it with wisdom with proper intonation the owl also stands for wisdom I don't think you can see the owl but there you are beautiful okay so call upon Archangel Michael it's the first time the blue uh, agate has come out it's also got a line so I'm also getting draw the line draw the line these my own collection and I just always in, enjoy them and draw the energy f uh, out of them when I have them around me okay now I've got a red handkerchief clean it's tradition in Holland that the Dutch farmers wear red handkerchiefs in the olden days okay I'm cleaning the crystal with a pure cotton glove so it's all natural amazing I still find it amazing uh, I I know I could do crystal readings but I finally got my own crystal given by my sister okay 
So let's have a look what whether the cards are going to resonate with the charms and whether the crystal ball are go is going to resonate with the charms. Okay. Now I see a split. It's like this. So if you've got anything like cupped, uh, this is what I'm getting in my head as well. Cups, cups, cups. It's been a long climb to where you are now. It's a long climb because I've, I'm down here. It's like it's, I don't know, a facet. It's come up boom, like that. Facet, does a facet mean anything? Yes, transformation, closing off with the old. You're a caterpillar and you're, you're no longer a caterpillar. You are becoming the butterfly. Yes, transition. Facet, ending, ending of something. It's not been clear to you uh, how long it would take to reach your goal. Um, it's been quite a climb. Um, but it's happened all of a sudden and quickly. Once it started, it transformed very quickly. And I get six weeks to six months. I also see a starfish here on this side. A starfish. Have you, uh, somebody has, have you got a starfish? I, again, I see the starfish at the bottom. Wishes coming true, goals coming true. And I see a peak here. I see also pe see a peak. You've been sowing seeds and they've grown. They've grown and you're about to to harvest. You're about to harvest. Don't look back. I'm seeing a mirror and when you look into the mirror you're looking at, uh, at your back. You're not looking in your face. That is how I'm seeing it. I'm seeing as if you're looking back. A reflection. Well, I would suggest try to look in the mirror now and see what the reflection is. Beauty. Look yourself in the eyes and say, I love you. Say that, I love you. And I also see, appreciate yourself, open your heart chakra, stand up for yourself. Okay, Taurus. That's your crystal ball. So let's have a look what the cards are going to say for you. The first card. Page of Stones, that's the Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Bows, that's the Queen of Wands. Okay, then we've got the Two of Bows, the Two of Wands. Then we have the Four of Bows, the Four of Wands. Wow, magic. Moving home, getting married. Celebrations. And the Three of Bows. So you're coming from the Two to the Three to the Four. Okay. That is quite, you've been climbing. Like I said, it's been a rough road. It's up and down, but it's happened very fast. Like fire, boom. Okay, you've been really active. Okay, you've also got the Queen of Bows. You you were determined. You knew what you wanted. Okay, and you've got the Page of Stones, which is the Page of Coins. 
Uh, so you are getting news about contracts, about something that's long-term durability that has that and it could be that you might be meeting a Queen of Fire, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo uh, or you might be meeting a young person, Capricorn, Virgo or uh, uh, Taurus. You've got the Fox. Okay, let's move this out of the way. star so wish or a goals coming true Taurus okay then we've got the bear this bear is in hibernation <laughs> and then we've got the ring and at the bottom of the deck we've got the dog Ooh, nice one okay let's get started move these over a bit see it better okay I will come back to these later okay first of all on Monday the 16th we are starting off with the page of stones well that's the page of Pentacles and I've already told you that means that somebody a Virgo Capricorn or or, or a Taurus you might be meeting one of them or they might be give, bringing you news it could definitely be a young person as a page is a young person or you could be meeting them be careful though because you've got the fox and somebody's wearing a mask they're not being honest besides the news this could be news that you have to be careful about okay the fox means uh, he's analytical he's very precise he can also be very sly because he has to plan to catch his uh, food his dinner he's a hunter remember a fox sheds his fur but he doesn't change his streaks that's a warning so there is a warning somebody's wearing a mask this could also be with work to do with work and work somebody might be wearing a mask at work or might be actually keeping an eye on you and you don't seem to know this could be uh, this could do could be to do with a promotion so be detailed and precise at work that's the positive side the ne negative side is that watch out for somebody that wants to jump up higher get a promotion and over your back that's the warning that I'm getting one and four is five so you might be getting a promotion that could be the news okay then on Wednesday that's in the positive scenario you've got the Queen of Bows and the Queen of Bows is the Queen of Wands perhaps it could be you that you you want something so bad that you go for it you jump into action she is logical she's creative she gets what she wants and she goes for it she doesn't let any wild horses drag her away from her ideas or you could be meeting a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo she's very firm in what she wants and it's the underneath you've got the star and the star means your wish or goal is coming true you've worked hard for it you've been precise you've been detailed you've met the deadlines you've met the specifications they might have made it hard for you but you have your wish or goal coming true number 16 7 luck is on your side okay more light on the card you can see them better then on Friday you've got the two of those decisions yes but it also means you're planning for the future 
your planning for the future. You have to make decisions. Are you going to take this job or not? There might be more wishes or goals that you're aiming for. And then we've got the bear. The bear protects what is dear to him that he's passionate about and that he loves. Luck is on your side. Somebody might be... Uh, wow! I hadn't even thought about that. Somebody might be trying to get a promotion over your back. That's what we're saying. Somebody might be using you. And look at this. There's somebody sitting on the bear's back. Amazing. This is number 15 and number 15 becomes a 6. So you are in balance. You are strong. You're grounded. You're standing firm. And look, you've got the blue crystal. Ask Archangel Michael to stay with you and help you and be there with sensitive conversations if you have to see the boss because somebody might have gossiped about you, although we don't have the birds here. But there is somebody jealous of your luck. Okay? So I think it could be a promotion. You went for what you want. Okay? Could be a, a, a friend that's wearing a mask. We have got the dog here, but we've got like a centipede here with the dog attached to it. So I interpret that as a mask as well. So you've got two masks here. I love it. Don't take any notice of somebody that's jealous of you. At the weekend, you are going out for celebrations. The four of bows, the four of ones. You are celebrating, but in a traditional tarot, it means a wedding or a house. The four corners of a house of the ones. So you might have bought this house that you wished for. Amazing. You are forming partnerships. This could be signing contracts. Again, relating to this card. Um, partnerships could be a love it could be a job but if you're signing contracts you are forming a partnership an agreement okay so it could be a contract to a house as well and getting ma or getting married the ring underneath okay awesome ooh, 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 love it love it and you've got the three of one bows fulfillment yes your boats are coming in Boats were used to make uh, used for transport and export, and still nowadays, usually you see the three of ones, and the boats are coming in. Okay, remember this is a pagan card. Fulfillment, and here you see the two snakes. The conscious, the subconscious, the black, the white. They are intertwined. So beautiful, you are intertwined with somebody. You've been watching your back, and you've met. The, uh, you ha have met the person. Okay, um, somebody. I I say somebody in your vicinity is wearing a mask. Okay, I don't think it's your partner, because you are protecting. Wake up, call here. Wake up. Okay, hear the owl. Watch out. Watch all what's happening around you. Be careful of sly people. Be careful of jealous people. Your wish is coming true. The star again. Double up. You're a butterfly now. Nobody can hurt you because you are beautiful. You stand above it. You're as beautiful and pure as a butterfly. The angels have your back, especially Mike, Aunt Michael. So Michael talks. Say what you need to say. Watch out the intonation. You catch more flies with charm then with vinegar okay beautiful yeah, I think it's a beautiful reading Taurus coming back I've re-listened to your uh, reading and I forgot to do this last card the dog yes somebody's wearing a mask these cards are so simple but they have their basic meanings and I use my intuition and also what I see from the cards now the dog basically means you've got a friend that's trustworthy and loyal okay um, and luck is on your side again so the bear and the dog are luck okay and it's number 18 so there is an ending an ending of a situation and that is what has come out of this reading as well and your plans are coming to fruition so you've got a uh, position here 
deadlines be care uh, the, that's the positive side of it uh, that you might be getting a promotion but be careful of people around you that are sly and again here somebody's wearing a mask the dog is depicted on t uh, as a mask uh, on these people so I just wanted to sh uh, shed light on this yes there is a friend and they are loyal or you might be getting an other vision like the owl and other perspective on a friend but be alert okay so there is a friend that is loyal perhaps a friend uh, that is loyal and trustworthy will tell you about a friend that is wearing a mask that's the last thing I just wanted to mention because I forgot this card so excuse me for that so I think your plans and goals and wishes are coming to fruition but heed the warnings nothing is easy there will be people that will uh, try to jump up or get what they want by using you okay so be warned look at the small print in contracts that you will be celebrating with family and friends uh, at the weekend or during the week when this is going to take place Okay, that most probably could be at the beginning of the news new week when you get the news. Awesome. I love this reading. Take care and I hope you've enjoyed it. Give us the thumbs up please and uh, share with family and friends. And I hope to see you in the live on Monday or Friday. And you're welcome on Wednesday if you can speak Dutch. And please subscribe and hit the bell and give us the thumbs up. It's much appreciated.